welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Monday Night Raw. Put away your case of the Mondays. We've got some hard-hitting action for you here tonight. Well said, Corey. I cannot wait to see what we get. Chad Gable, big opportunity here tonight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Alpha Academy from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 202 pounds, Chad Gable. Former NXT Tag Team Champion, SmackDown Tag Team Champion, one of the most self-assured superstars you will see in the WWE. Now making a name for himself on his own on Raw. The Viper is here. And his opponent, representing RK Bro from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, one half of the Raw Tag Team Champions, The Viper, Randy Orton. Think of all the legendary factions that Randy Orton has been a part of, all steps in his career greatness. Oh, he learned from the best. But at a very early age, Randy proved he can go it alone. Yeah, we learned very quickly that Randy Orton was the student who was able to surpass the Masters. And in the process, Randy Orton has become a master in his own right. Orton looks like he's ready to stalk his prey. Such an impressive array of in-ring skills possessed by the Viper. All Randy Orton needs is one RKO to end your evening. Well, Byron, I guarantee you Orton's going to show us tonight that he's much more than that. Yeah, Randy Orton is an SOB. Chad Gable. This is a former Olympic athlete we're talking about. Gable devastates his opponents with his unmatched athletic ability and his cunning in ring tactics. In fact, I've heard rumors that the guy can dribble a bowling ball. He's that talented. Well, I have to respect what Gable can do in the ring, but those tactics you mentioned are also callous. Oh, that hurt to the spine. Picking the spot. And he was ready for Orton. Kick from behind. Ouch. Uh-oh. Ankle pick. Beautiful takedown. Oh, knee crusher. That's going to hurt. He's looking to completely render this leg useless. Stump puller leg snap. Very effective. Oh, that can dislocate something. Hard. And Orton here, a very difficult superstar to prepare for, but it's not without his exploits. Very few weaknesses with a superstar the caliber of Randy Orton, but to your point, Randy does have a history of shoulder problems that can be exploited. Oh, look at the cripple the leg. And Gable is taking command of this one. Any part of the body that Orton's leaving open is being exploited at the moment. He's lost some of his win now. Elbow drop. Oh, no, he can be caught here. Bad spot for him. The arm bar is locked in. The Viper is in serious danger. Randy Orton's. Fujiwara. Oh, nice way to get out. German suplex. And now Gable's looking to fly. Here we go.
He went right into that turnbuckle. Up on the top rope. Hazard's part of town for these two competitors. This could go south in a hurry. Here we go. Superplex. Orton going to that place could be academic from here. And the Viper now can feel the life being drained out of his brain. Orton has the opponent pushed on the top rope. Orton climbing up. Are you Not from up there. Me? Is that what it takes to beat Gable? Cover! One, two! How in the world did he kick out? Incredible, absolutely incredible. Put into the corner now. And what a reversal from Chad Gable. Nice takedown. himself some room to regroup fast. Now is the time for Chad Gable to find a way to shift into that extra gear. in his favor. She calls herself the EST. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Knoxville, Tennessee, Bianca Belair. Bianca's been exceptional her entire life. She earned all SEC and all American honors in track and field at the University of Tennessee. And if you just ask her, it's, it's like someone's come to play early. Yeah, clearly not in a mood to wait any longer. Oh, yeah, she is really getting fired up. A freak in the weight room, a beast in the ring. Bianca Belair can do it all. And she's got a lethal hair whip. The ref motioning to get in the ring now. Yeah, I think the referee's at the end of their rope. You can only push the ref. Taking flight. Whoa! But Daredevil in you comes out when you take risks like that. Corey Oscar is such a dominant competitor. It's hard to find flaws, but what do you think is her biggest weakness? Well, if you ask Asuka, she doesn't have any weakness. And she'll yell at you, too. And that's just it. Asuka is confident and angry. The key to taking Asuka down is to use her cockiness to your advantage. Just wait for any opening, because she and her ego will eventually create one. Back straight into the post on the outside. Oh, colliding with the barricade. Sending oh. first into the barricade. Seven. Taking a moment to get pumped off of this crowd's incredible energy. Oh, look at the kicks. Just teeing away. Debilitating. She goes back inside the ropes. If 
this works, it could chip from the top. After that, you know things have just kicked up a notch. Pedal to the metal right now. Oh, man, meeting the barricade. Ooh, that hurt. Oh, man, look at this. Whip down the barricade. Goes right through it. most dominant women superstars today, Rhea Ripley. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Adelaide, Australia, Rhea Ripley. You know, Rhea Ripley's got to be the billboard example when it comes to stealing headlines in your debut. Remember, Rhea Ripley won the Raw Women's Championship on the grandest stage of WrestleMania. Now, you're absolutely right, Byron. Rhea Ripley is not afraid of any competitor, no matter how impressive their resume may be. Sent a message to the entire world in the 2017 and 2018 May Young Classic tournaments. A true underdog hero in the women's division. Nikki A.S.H. is ready to fly tonight. Byron, you know she can't actually fly. She's only almost a superhero. Theater of the mind, Corey. Theater of the mind. And her partner from Glasgow, Scotland. Almost a superhero, Nikki A.S.H. Listen, guys, I'll, I'll admit it. The change in attitude recently has brought Nikki A.S.H. a lot of success. Wait, Corey, does that mean you're ready to jump on the bandwagon of Nikki A.S.H.? Absolutely A. not. Well, the change in attitude of Nikki A.S.H. has certainly helped. Well, she's won the Money in the Bank, the Raw Women's Championship, and the Women's Tag Titles. I think we're going to see even more super heroics here tonight. The future is iconic. And their opponents, Peyton Royce and Billy Kay, the Iconics. They may or may not be two of my most trusted sources. Well, I believe that. Two ladies who have known each other since high school in Sydney, Australia, now causing havoc. 
and dismay. And goodness gracious, they do great impressions. They're horrible. This is iconic. The Australian duo have taken WWE by storm and show no signs of slowing down. And now we're all set for this tag match with Rhea Ripley and Nikki A.S.H. Then the opposing team is, of course, filled with Peyton Royce and Billy Kay. We have to be expecting a frenetic pace in this matchup. These teams stop for nothing. They are all go from bell to bell. Turnbuckle's the only thing keeping her upright. Ooh. Another one for good measure. Uh, Nikki manages to counter. Hooked up. Gets the tag. What a clothesline! Ouch! Oh, what a maneuver! Peyton got intercepted. Counter. 
have to finish now. There is no way this can go on for much longer. Oh, that'll leave the mark. Tossed into the corner. Oh, no. A one for good measure. Nikki turns it around. This isn't going to be pretty. Hangman's that break. Gosh. She scores big with the counter. Peyton just took her out with a leg larry. Hey, Rose is looking to end this right here. Right now. Thanks, Victory in hand for Peyton. Put that match in a museum or... The boy wonder has arrived. I can hardly contain myself, fellas. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from New York City. Weighing in at 235 pounds. He is the best the world Shane McMahon! Well, Shane McMahon was born with a silver spoon, but there's no doubt we'll take any risk to win. Gentlemen, we are about to experience something phenomenal. Here's a man who can do it all and has done it all in short order here at WWE. May be the greatest in-ring competitor of this generation. And his opponent from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds. for glory. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on this fire right now. Very few superstars have enjoyed the global success that AJ Styles has had. AJ's traveled all over the world and battled the best opponents on every stop along the way. You'd be hard-pressed to find a more cultured in-ring talent. Well, we'll see how all that globe-trotting experience serves him here tonight. Well, across from him is Shane McMahon, who always puts it all out on the line, and then some. Shane's an absolute madman, but it served him well through his career, making a statement and making... Uh, he's got him in trouble up on the top rope. Almost took their arm off. One arm drag. Uh-oh, clearing off the announce table. Oh, this is about to go from bad to worse. This is not going to be pretty. I don't want to see this happen. Down you go. And Zagiri finds its mark. He is a sight to behold. Take a picture while you can, everyone. Beautiful drop kick. And a nasty drop kick to the lower back. There he goes, right into the corner. Got them right in the corner. And Shane takes a heavy pounding. That was one of the many moves AJ picked up on his global travels. Lands harder. To the sky. You gotta be kidding me. Talk about undeterred courage. Letting everything loose from the top turnbuckle. Finds the advantage after a string of counts. Everyone get out of the way. These two are abandoning all the straights. He's getting a huge boost right now from all those chants and cheers. A phenomenal blitz. Styles great by the leg. Close through. They're too close to the ropes. Yup, and the hook is broken. Shane O'Mac 
boards that off. out of the ring. What's next? Whoa. Everyone needs to get out of the way of this fight. This feels Two. so unsafe. Puts him on the table. What does he have in mind? We're about to find out. Reversal after reversal. These two are ready for each other. He's looking a little weird now. At this stage of the match, they are clearly starting to feel the effects of this back and forth. Able to prevent Styles' attack. He'll slide back in the ring now. This could be big. From the top. Good lord. Taking flight. Taking out from high above. You gotta be some special kind of crazy to do that. said than done. They are not concerned about anyone else's well-being. Oh, they look in his eyes. This isn't going to be good. He's got nasty plans in mind. Oh, you, you don't think. I sure do. Oh, no. Stumbles through the table. This man gone Four. too far. Look at this chaos. This is pure destruction. I can barely imagine the damage that the impact caused. I mean, look at what it did to our table. Shane O'Mac felt that coming. Big line for this, He's going for the pin. This could be it. One, two, three. An emphatic victory. Here is your winner, the phenomenal AJ Styles. No other way to put it, guys. That was kind of a butt kicking. Never a doubt, barely a moment's suspense. This one was about as lopsided as... Here we finally have a match that can settle the score. No disqualification match, win by pinfall or submission, but anything goes in this type of match as well. These superstars didn't want the rule book to restrict them, didn't want anything holding them back. Snapmare could set something else up. to the gut. This is just brute power. Release German. the beast back. Lesnar moved. <gasps> Saw that one coming. He's getting a huge boost right now from all those chants and cheers. Oh, there is some power behind that punch. Now this is the kind of match where you can really push the bounds of damage you can inflict. I'm not saying that a no disqualification match should mean carte blanche to do whatever you want to someone, but it does provide an opening to be creative in your offense. So be creative. And a counter, a counter by Styles. And he's able to reverse. Ooh, down low and down he goes. He's burying elbows in the midsection. Man. Foot to the belly. Ho, 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 that's gonna sting. DDT! Counter 
Rivers. And got him set up for something on the table. Clearly nobody home or else he'd get out of there. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, God. Ooh. Oh. It's locked in. Calf crusher. Oh, gotta tap out here, but it ain't gonna matter. You still do. Ooh, that hurt. He's returning fire. Reciprocating the initial reversal. Oh my goodness. Through the table. That's it. Lesnar with a waist lock. I think we're about to take a trip, gentlemen. This is where Brock Lesnar is at home. Yeah. To Suplex City. He's setting his table up, and guys, someone's about to have a really bad night. Oh no, there's a table and some bad intentions. Oh no, look out guys, broken in half. He is revving up the engine. He's not going to let anything stop him. Oh, Lester! And he may have felt his grip slipping, so he releases the whole... The following contest is scheduled for one fall. It is for the WWE United States Championship. Stand up, Saxton. We are in the presence of true Nigerian royalty. Or obnoxious royalty. Apollo is an absolutely unbelievable athlete that has fought and scratched and clawed for everything he has achieved in his life. And Apollo is set to show why he is descended of royal ancestry. Rubbing it in the face of the entire WWE Universe every step of the way. We are seeing the best version of Apollo yet. I don't necessarily agree with his tactics, but he has never been better in the ring. The agility, the power, the ruthlessness. Apollo has truly evolved into a difficult opponent for anyone to overcome. The Prince has arrived a decorated champion who has truly reinvented himself seen enough and issued a warning. Yeah, now is not the time to push the referee's patience. Finn Balor loves to pick up the pace in a match like this. Corey, will that benefit him here tonight? Uh, it's been a benefit his whole career. Why stop now? If Balor can actually succeed in picking up the pace and controlling it the way he wants, I don't see why not. The electricity of this moment is coursing through his veins. He's certainly lining him up, but he's wasting too much time. The 
the sound of this crowd is deafening, and he's asking for more. Twisting. Oh, the Pyrus doesn't pay off. A totally ill-advised decision there. Maybe slight hesitation there caused the outcome. There is a certain excitement that a United States Championship match has. It's hard to nail down exactly what it is. I know what you mean, Byron, whether defending or challenging for the U.S. title. Superstars seem to go the extra mile. Taking this to the floor now. Whoa. And this one might be headed ringside. Whoa. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Incoming. No, oh, look out. Sean, absolutely no apprehension to putting one's body on the line. He enters under the ropes. Him in the drop zone. Oh, look out. Oh. And Finn was ready for the ball. Here comes Balor. Finn Balor. Slip yeah. Balor's got him hooked. Oh, man. Sustain his offense. 
You have to think these competitors expected this to be a difficult challenge. Even so, at this stage, things just get more and more dangerous. Fatigue starts setting in, and you don't know exactly have all your wits about you. They could quickly lead to air. some to achieve this victory. I don't know if I'd say the battle scars were worth it, Cole, but I will say the one who did it to them isn't the one celebrating right now. Watching this no DQ match, I can't help but think of all the great no disqualification matches we've seen in WWE over the years. No doubt, Michael. Triple H versus Brock Lesnar in 2013. The Rock versus Mankind in 1999. Both classics. But the all-time best has got to be Undertaker versus Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania 26. Yeah, I hate to disagree with you, Corey, but Stone Cold Steve Austin against The Rock at WrestleMania 17 was the greatest no disqualification match of all time. In fact, it might even be the greatest match in WWE history. Let's just agree that all of those matches are great, and I'd argue this one could live up to that same hype, guys. Oh, nothing fancy with that boot. And this backstage area is in danger of being torn apart if this continues any further. I'll say goodbye to our safety deposit because I see no signs of things slowing down. Byron, a match like this is when we see how merciless someone can be. What will this come down to? This is about who can weather the storm. A superstar can attack at will here. Everything is a weapon. That is what makes this so dangerous. It's anything goes. There are no limits here. And it can be chilling to see the lengths someone's willing to go to to destroy another human being. And by chilling, I mean beautiful. Seriously, where are the heads of these superstars at? Don't they know all the perils that surround them? They could care less, Byron. They just want to mutilate each other. He's reminding his competition that they'll only ever be second best. Cross gets out of the way. And he denies Cross. Oh, 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 big boot. Oh, my God. Tossed by the neck. Apollo Crews, such a unique hybrid of power and agility. Head butt to the back of the neck. Oh, the reversal by Apollo Crews. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Beautiful standing shooting star. Oh, what a counter, knees. 
That'll buy you some valuable time. Whoa. Countered it just in time. Oh, great reversal. Apollo Crews, such a unique hybrid of power and agility. Picture perfect moonsault. He wants it one more time. On the shoulders and a slam. there uh oh this is could this be enough that gets reversed on Apollo this is gonna hurt Cross with the Doomsday Saito. Oh, hold on. Is he thinking of a submission here? <laughs> Trapped. Hold on. Trying to maneuver out. Dropping bombs right now. It escapes. Picture perfect drop kick. Beautiful enziguri by Apollo. Right to the leg. Oh, he's got him by the leg. The foot DDT. Tearing down the leg now. Got the knees up just in time. This could turn things around. Boom! The end is near, looking to finish this off. Cross jackets in, and it's in tight. This won't win the match, but it's doing a lot of damage. And the tap out isn't going to do anything. This is just torturous now. Oh! Time may be up for Cross. He's about to do it. He's about to do it again. Ooh, man! Oh! Oh! Apollo Crews, such a unique hybrid of power and agility. And that will...